do different ammo types actually do anything in zombies? I've wondered this for a bit, so I decided to hop in and test them out for myself. Since there's eight bullet weapon classes and each have their own unique ammo types, I decided to narrow my focus today on the assault rifles. For each test, I use the same weapon, the SVA 545, with no attachments on it besides the ammo type that we're testing. I then took each of them in game and used them against a fully armored tier three zombie. These weapons obviously aren't gonna do a whole lot of damage not being pack-a-punched or upgraded, but it'll do enough for us to see the difference in damage between the ammo types. For our first test, I'm gonna group together the high and low grain ammo types. The high grain rounds will increase your bullet velocity and damage range while decreasing your recoil control. And here's the detailed stats on how it affects the weapon. The low grain rounds are the opposite. They'll increase your recoil control at the cost of your damage range and bullet velocity. And here's the detailed stats for that. So far in game, they look to be as advertised. Low grain has less recoil and high grain has more recoil. Who would have thought? But unless the gun is kicking like a bull, I don't really care about recoil control. So against our tier three armored zombie, the low grain rounds actually do less damage than our SVA with no attachments at all. The recoil reduction also didn't do anything for my shitty aim. But even after sinking the shots that were actually connecting to the zombie, the no attachment SVA still broke the helmet on the zombie faster than our low grain rounds would. It even killed the zombie faster with the low grain rounds needing two more magazines than our no attachment SVA. But the high grain rounds weren't much better. The no attachment SVA broke the helmet on the zombie an entire mag faster faster than our high grains and outright killed it three mags faster. It actually took until our very last bullet in our high grain round SVA to take it out. Putting the two grains against each other, there's no competition. Despite lowering the damage range and velocity, the low grain rounds outperform the highs. But don't get it twisted, they're both still pretty ass. Next, we got the armor piercing rounds, the ammo type that inspired this video. According to the attachment menu, these rounds increase bullet penetration and vehicle damage. But looking at the detailed stats, there's no visible increase besides the damage bar going up slightly. And it doesn't look like there's any downsides to it either. Surprisingly enough, it didn't break armor faster than our SVA with no attachments. Now, my aim isn't perfect, but even after I sink the shots that connected, our no attachment gun still broke the helmet faster, but to be fair, it wasn't by much. Then I thought since it's armor piercing rounds, maybe it goes through and penetrates the armor and does more damage to the zombie's health rather than just its armor. So I compared the health bars at the moment that the helmet broke for each weapon and our armor piercing did slightly more damage, but it's only by a nut hair. But in the end, it doesn't matter much because the no attachment SVA outperformed the armor piercing, killing the zombie faster by one whole mag. So I think it's safe to say that this is probably not worth the attachment slot. Now we're on to the frangible rounds. These are a bit of a weird case because in the stats menu it says these inflict a wounding effect, which normally in multiplayer would delay the health regen, but zombies usually don't restore health. Except for one, the Disciple. This thing will suck you dry like there's no tomorrow just to fill up its own health. So do the frangible rounds stop it from healing? I don't think so. At least I didn't at first. I kept testing it over and over again and it actually stopped it from healing but I couldn't get it to work consistently. I tried testing it more times by breaking the Disciple's face mask, thinking that's what made it work, but I couldn't replicate it. So will frangible rounds stop a Disciple from healing? Maybe, my tests were inconclusive. And I got a little carried away there, so let's go back to the stats. Outside of the wounding effect, it also lowers bullet penetration and your damage range. And here's the detailed stats for the weapon. Against our tier three zombie, it didn't do a whole lot of wounding. Our attachmentless SVA outperformed it, killing it in one less mat. So I wouldn't really recommend using these rounds unless you plan on only fighting disciples and maybe stopping their healing. Next up, we got our hollow point rounds. These are also a bit odd because in multiplayer, it inflicts a crippling effect that stops players from sprinting when shot in the legs. So in theory, this should be really useful when dealing with sprinter zombies. But does it work on them? Kinda. It looks like it slightly staggers zombies, but it seemed to work best when they didn't have any armor, even if the armor wasn't covering their legs. And for its stats, outside of the crippling effect, it doesn't really look like there's a downside to using this ammo type. At least none that I could find in the stats page. The only thing that I saw in there was the damage bar slightly going up. And against our tier 3 zombie, it didn't look like it increased the damage by much, but it did kill it in around the same time as our no attachment SVA. So overall, you get a slight bonus to stagger sprinter zombies for a 
second at the cost of an attachment slot with no real noticeable drop off in damage. This next one is going to be quick and that's because we're going over the high velocity rounds. And who could have guessed it? Using these will give you an increase to your bullet velocity at the cost of damage range. And here's the detailed stat page for it. But just in case you don't know how bullet velocity works, it basically means the higher bullet velocity you have, the faster your bullets will reach its target. But in game, this is only really noticeable at longer ranges and in zombies, you're not really fighting at a range where it'll matter too much. Anyways, against our tier 3 zombie, it performed pretty similarly to our no attachment SBA. It broke its helmet around the same time and killed it close to the same time. But it actually took its head clean off and lived for a second and even swung at me before actually falling over dead. But overall, it's not a terrible ammo type, but doesn't improve much over the default rounds for the gun. Next, we have the overpressured plus P rounds. And if Young Thug's lawyer is anything to go off of, the P stands for positivity. It's called pushing P and it's positivity. But these rounds give an increase to target flinch with no noticeable decrease in any stat that I could find. But what does flinch do? All I know is that you get two for doing it. But in multiplayer, this affects the aim of the player getting shot by bumping their crosshair up slightly when they're getting hit, which is pretty confusing because this is the ammo type that I've seen people recommending the most for zombies. So what does it do in zombies? Well, it was a bit hard to test because there's not many enemies that actually shoot at you. The obvious enemies are the mercs and I didn't notice it affecting their aim very much. They're either gonna be Chris Kyle or Stevie Wonder with no in between. But turns out they just don't like getting shot no matter what round you use. Who knew? Manglers are another enemy that can shoot at you, but in testing, it didn't really do shit. At least nothing noticeable because he still shot his cannon arm all the same. And damage wise, it's nothing crazy. It breaks the helmet and kills the tier 3 zombie in about the same amount of time as our no attachment SBA, taking just a couple more bullets to take it down. I honestly don't see much of a reason to use these rounds. There still is a few other ammo types for the assault rifles that can't be used with the SBA 545, so instead we'll be using the MTZ 556. And you might be wondering, Joe, why don't you just use the MTZ for all the previous ammo types? Well, that's because I just might be a little bit dumb. And I might have tested all the other ammo types with the SVA before realizing that there's a few extra ones for the ARs that the SVA couldn't use. Anyways, one of the more interesting ammo types are the incendiary rounds. These rounds give incendiary damage and an increase to vehicle damage, while decreasing bullet velocity, damage range, and bullet penetration. And here are the detailed stats for the weapon. During testing, I didn't see any indication that the zombie was taking fire damage. And if it was, it wasn't very visible or effective because it ended up needing a few extra bullets more to kill our zombie than our no attachment MTZ did. So if you're looking to do some fire damage, then just use napalm burst. Next, we got round nose rounds. I'm going to keep this one brief because it's pretty similar to the overpressured rounds. These increase target flinch and bullet penetration while decreasing damage range. And here's the detailed stats for it. From my testing, it doesn't look like it causes any more flinching than the normal rounds do, but it does kill our zombie in almost the same exact amount of time as our no attachment MTZ. TZ. But overall, I wouldn't recommend using these rounds. For our last ammo type, we have the mono rounds. These increase vehicle damage, bullet penetration, and bullet velocity while decreasing damage range and recoil control. Here are the detailed stats for the weapon. Surprisingly, these might be the only rounds to actually take out our zombie faster than our no attachment weapon, even if it was only faster than it by a fraction of a second. But that kind of time could be the difference between someone getting drafted in the first round or the fifth. But we're talking about killing zombies in a game, not running the 40 yard dash. So I really don't think it's that noticeable of a difference to throw this on your weapon. So what's the best ammo type in zombies? From these tests, it could be the frangible rounds just for the chance that it could stop a disciple from healing, but this could have been a glitch or the game fucking with me at the perfect time. Or it could be the hollow point rounds if you think the possibility of slowing down a sprinter zombie is a valuable use of an attachment slot. But overall, I don't think ammo types really have any positive effect in zombies and it's kind of more of a placebo. At least for the assault rifles. I think there could be a bigger difference in other weapon classes, so let me know if you want to see me cover those as well. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this or you learned something new, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. And if you're new here and you want to be a doll, maybe consider subscribing. But I'm late for my jelking appointment. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.